Hello everyone, welcome back to Bragging About Cinema. Today we're going to go from the big screen all the way down to the small screen and look at the first three episodes of HBO Max's Tokyo Vice. So what is this show about? So this show is about an American who moves to Tokyo and decides to pass all their exams to become a reporter. And he really wants to report the news and really get to know what's going on in the underbelly of Tokyo. Uh, so it's kind of a fish out of water tale. He's the American uh, trying to get used to the land and he speaks fluent Japanese. Um, they don't cut him any slack. He gets put on the cop beat. He of course gets to run some not fun stories. Uh, what he's really interested in is the Yakuza and you know, how, how does the city really work? Like what things you see that aren't quite in the newspaper? Uh, and the newspaper doesn't want him writing about these things and they're rejecting all his stories. Uh, so he is kind of down on his luck a bit, needing, needing to um, get that big story and he finally gets that big break. It kind of opens the door for him. Now along the way, he meets another American who is uh, works in a bar and it's not an escort service, but she uh, encourages people to get to buy alcohol. And that's kind of their main function. And of course, at this bar, we have the Yakuza visiting frequently. He eventually befriends a cop who kind of helps give him some information. And he gets that, that kind of big story. And he's researching more as to a, a whole bigger picture that not everyone is seeing. Uh, that revolves around uh, suicides and some killings. And it kind of feels like people are brushing it under the rug and he really wants to bring it to light. And so that's what the story is um, kind of left off after episode three is he's starting to get some bigger clues to the puzzle of what is really going on. I'll warn you right now, if you do not like subtitles, this is not the show for you. It is about 90% subtitles. Uh, there is some English and a lot of it's English and Japanese, English, Japanese, back and forth. Uh, but a good portion of the show is uh, really reading subtitles. That shouldn't bother you because you're missing out on a great content if it does. But I thought I'd warn you. So the story is loosely based on a true story about American reporter uh, Jake Edelstein. Uh, so far, I've really enjoyed it. I like uh, the character. Is uh, He's a likable guy. You really are rooting for him. Uh, you start to learn his motivation as to why he's uh, in Japan versus why he's not back home in America and vice versa. The person he meets up with and befriends at the bar, she is in similar um, situation, although she is a bit of a mystery. So we're still learning about her. Uh, there's also a Yakuza member who has uh, taken interest in him and um, we're not really sure what the uh, why he's interested. Um, so that's kind of a developing plot point that I'm really looking forward to seeing more of. This show is more of a like a, almost a mystery show. Um, you're trying to figure out all the players, how they fit in, um, who you can trust. Uh, it's also interesting seeing the way our main character is treated um, working in this Japanese newspaper. Uh, the setting is in the 90s. And I, it's mostly done at night, so there's a lot of uh, hopping around clubs, trying to make deals to get good stories. Um, and there's a sort of a, a turf war that is brewing. Um, we haven't fully fleshed that out yet. Uh, there's not a ton of action scenes yet. If you're looking for this straight up action, it's more of a, more of a mystery show. Um, I really can't think of anything bad about it other than if you don't like subtitles. Um, that's kind of your loss. Uh, other than that, this is a pretty enjoyable show. HBO Max so far is uh, everything they've done. I've really enjoyed that I've taken the time to watch. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this the gamut of approval. We're going to give this an A. This is a show I'm definitely going to watch to the end. I, what I really, I just like the pacing. It's enough of a mystery that the pace keeps going and the plot keeps unfolding in front of you. Sometimes mystery shows, the plot moves just so slow. You're all, I also really am enjoying the uh, fish out of water, uh, American in a strange land, trying to uh, navigate 
And he pretty fits in pretty well because he speaks the language fluently. So there's no uh, language barriers. And he seems to have acclimated pretty well. So there's not a lot of awkward moments where he doesn't understand traditions. So he, he's very well versed, very smart guy. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays out. Um, this is one of those shows where the beginning of the show is uh, fast forwards in the future and then it goes back and you're kind of getting up to that moment that the beginning of the show was. Um, is this a show you've checked out? Uh, what do you think about review? Do you think uh, this is a show you want to keep watching? Are you a mystery person? Um, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments section. If you could give me a subscribe so that you know when my next video comes out. Uh, there's a lot of cool shows coming out um, in the next couple months. So I'm looking forward to reviewing those. Um, also hit that notifications button so you know the next time my video comes out. And when you watch my videos, you will find something to brag about.